Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's edition of the FDU Knights Baseball Roundup from FDUnites.com. I'm your host, Ryan Rodriguez, joined by head coach Justin McKay. Justin, thanks for being here. Thank you. Big weekend for you guys coming up. First road trip of the year yeah. down to North Carolina. Three games on the schedule, starting off with Army on Friday. Just talk a little bit about your expectations and what you hope to see out of the team this weekend. Yeah, I'm hoping to see us compete, um, you know, from pitch one all the way, you know, to the last out of the game. I'm hoping, uh, you know, three very tough opponents in Army and Dartmouth and St. Joe's. So, you know, um, we'll focus on Army first. Very, very good opponent. Very uh, quality team up and down defense, pitching, offense. So they will be a very tough test for us. I'm excited to see how we compete. Uh, it's going to be a terrific experience for our guys to to go down to the USA Baseball Complex and 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 play there. So I think you know that was one of the main things about scheduling this trip was giving those guys that opportunity to say that they got to play there. I, I was very fortunate enough to be able to work uh, you know uh, with the USA team in 2014, the NTIS task force. So that was a amazing experience for me, and I can't imagine what it's going to be like for them to play on it. Uh, so this weekend, obviously, very big for you guys to have three games on the schedule, but also going down to North Carolina, a long road trip like that, a lot of hours in the bus, a lot of hours in hotel rooms together. Just talk a little bit about what this trip means uh, from just a camaraderie and a team building standpoint. Yeah, I mean, I remember when I played, you know, these kind of things are, are uh, you know, these, these trips where you're in tight quarters for a long time, uh, you know, they're great team building, you know, great chemistry uh, building events and you know, I think a lot of these young guys for, you know, well, for 20 guys, it'll be their first, you know, road trip at, at Division One level. So I think uh, everybody's excited. Everybody's excited when they hit the bus and then you get about six hours in and you're like, oh, man, you know, still got four more hours. So hopefully we can keep ourselves entertained um, throughout the ride and, and then, get, you know, focus up and play. You guys did manage to get your feet wet a little bit last weekend, opened up with a win against Seton Hall, 10 innings. Very, very thrilling game. Fortunately, the game uh, on Saturday ended up getting called because of the sun, but still very, very hard fought game there. What did you learn about your team just from that very, very brief opening weekend last weekend? Yeah, I mean, you know, we came to compete, uh, which is something that I've been you know, adamant about, about. I want us to compete. So we came to compete and we took some punches and we, and we punched back and um, our young guys stayed tough. Our older guys, you know, led the way as, as as we need them to. So, you know, I guess what we learned is, is we can compete um, with, with most teams out there. And right now we're focusing on Army. So we want to be able to compete with Army as a, you know, again, very, very strong opponent. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing how we bounce back from having success. I think that's going to be important. Uh, there's been a lot of talk this season about sort of changing the culture of FDU baseball, reinvigorating the program, all of that. Talking about it and saying it is one thing, but how much easier does it make the buy-in from the players when you actually go out and see some immediate results and get a win in your opening day like you did last weekend? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think it stems from them. You know, I think it stems from their hard work. It's nice as a player, you know, relating to when I was a player, it's nice to, you know, put the work in. And when you're in the Northeast, you have to put a different style of work in, too. It's not easy every day where, you, you know, you get to roll out to the field. and it's, it's So, you know, these guys are putting uh, a, a lot of work in and a lot of, um, you know, different different ways of, of getting the job done. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's, a, it's a, you know, it's early. It's, a, you know, it's only been two games. And, um, you know, we, we, we need to play well this weekend. Well, good luck to you guys this weekend. That's FDU back in action this Friday against Army. Until next time. My name is Ryan Seaburn. I'm a pitcher at FDU. My favorite team is the New York Yankees. My favorite player would have to be Marcus Stroman from the Blue Jays, though. Um, favorite part of FDU is probably being able to bond with your teammates and do whatever. Favorite part of pitching is being able to control the game in your own hands. Uh, my favorite food would have to be a bowl of pasta. Hi, my name is Philip Romeo. I'm a pitcher here at FDU. Uh, my favorite pro team would have to be the Cleveland Indians. My favorite pitcher or player would be Corey Kluber. Um, my favorite part about FDU would have to be my teammates. And my favorite part about pitching is dominating hitters. My favorite TV show would have to be Sports Center. My favorite food would be Chipotle. And my expectations for myself this year would to 
be a team player and do my best on the mound and as a team would be to win the NEC conference. Hi, I'm Griffin Gilbert. I'm a pitcher at FDU. My favorite pro team is the Boston Red Sox. My favorite player is probably Steven Strasburg of the Nationals. My favorite part about FDU is how close all the sports teams are here. My favorite part of pitching is probably striking a batter out with the bases loaded. And the favorite TV show is probably The Office. My favorite food is definitely Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, my expectations for the season is definitely to make the playoffs and go as far as we possibly can this year. My name is Brendan Medoro. I'm a pitcher here at FDU. Uh, my favorite pro team is the New York Mets, and my favorite player is Jacob deGrom. Uh, my favorite part about FDU is how close we all are on the baseball team. Uh, I love, my favorite part about being a pitcher is um, just leaving the game with a W. My favorite TV show is MLB Tonight. My favorite food is steak. Um, I expect to compete every time I'm out on the mound for my brothers, and I expect us to just win. Hi, my name is Bobby Pagosi. I'm a right-handed pitcher for Fairleigh Dickinson. My favorite MLB team is the New York Yankees. My favorite baseball player is Derek Jeter. Favorite part of FDU is uh, I like, uh, like all my teammates. Favorite part of being a pitcher is competing and striking kids out. Favorite TV show is Hawaii Five-0. Favorite food is pasta and meatballs. Um, be one of the main starting pitchers and to make a run for the playoffs and win an NEC championship. Hello, my name is Manny Corcoran. I'm a freshman pitcher here at FDU. Uh, my favorite team is the New York Mets. My favorite MLB player is Albert Pujols. Favorite part of FDU is probably hanging out with my teammates, competing with them, and just getting to know everything from them. Favorite part of being a pitcher would have to be standing on that mound and competing and just getting strikeouts and helping my team more. Uh, my favorite food has got to be chicken tenders. My expectations for myself would have to be to compete and just give my all when I'm out there and for the team is to win an NEC championship.